So the miner is signed and now we need to figure out how much stuff we need for it. And that is why I have Space Engineer's toolbox installed. So as you can see, this is this world with the miner. The link to get the Space Engineer's toolbox will be in the description. And you can see just exactly what it needs to be built. Mount of ingots, I don't know why it's not iron ore, but scrap metal. Yeah. Amount of blocks. Very, very, very useful thing to have. So I guess we kind of have to get all of this now and then build the miner. And there we go. Everything is put to production. Now we just need to mine the materials to make all of this. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, I guess let's start with the iron ore. Hmm, I do think that maybe I should set up something else. Instead of going to each deposit, we can mine only cobalt. And everything else, we can just set up a collector somewhere here and then just mine the stone. So let's try doing that and see how well that works. Alright, let's separate. 100 stone and see how many ingots it will produce. No, the assembler is sucking everything up. Uh, oops, refinery, okay, let's try that again. Assembler off, 100. Right, so one, so 2.1 stone, 0 0.17 nickel, and 0 0.28. So if we multiply. 20,000 by 50. I would need to mine a million kilograms of stones then, I guess. Right? So 50 by 20. That's a thousand and thousand thousand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess that doesn't seem like something that is really hard to do. But it will take a while to process then. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go get some iron and see what the yield on it on the basic refinery. Oh, it's hard to fly in this turbo chair with the aerodynamic physics. It keeps flipping over. Literally impossible. Well, not literally impossible, but it's really hard. Okay. What is that, by the way, over there? Let me check. Okay, so I guess I will need to disassemble this. <laughs> right. What did I see somewhere? So running to iron will take like multiple minutes. Hmm. Alright, so what are our options? We either mine stone or we either run to iron. <laughs> this is really difficult. With no jetpack and with aerodynamic physics. Well, I guess let's go get some iron just to see how much we'll need of it. On kin servers you usually usually we can just pretty much jetpack over to the deposit and just get back. And just really quickly get enough resources for the miner. Uh, but here, well, it will take a while. So the assemblers are three times less efficient here. So that will be three times more resources that we need <laughs> for that. And plus I don't have a jetpack. So a trip that would take only 10 seconds now takes a minute and more. <sighs> well, I mean, I have a lot of time. So... It's not a problem. And they can carry only like a thousand iron ore per trip. Right, I think the mod that adds the compass at the top, you can enable the clock with it. One second. Alright. Compass. Show clock. 24 hour. Date. Time. Alright, we still have multiple hours until the sun goes down. So we should be fine. <laughs> Let's see. 100 iron ore. And what do we get? 49. Okay, so... We would need to make like 40 trips. Like 50 trips even. In order to get the amount of iron ingots needed for that. Which would take multiple hours. That's not very time efficient. <laughs> Let's see. Gyroscope, override. There we go. Alright. 
so we could add a container to it probably <laughs> we can risk it or you know what we can actually add some wheels to it too and make it a small tiny rover that we can use to get some ores yes that seems like a good idea for this all right back to the creative i go <laughs> all righty rover is built let's build it here then okay so let's first of all set up the projection we need for it uh it here Pro okay the projector is not unlocked yet what do we need for it a light we need to build a light okay let's build the light let's build the light Oop. You see, this is why the project progression system is so stupid it's it's like literally doesn't contribute anything to the game experience all right landing gear uh, maybe not exactly here let's put it here bam all right we need the battery 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 uh there it is okay let's disable some stuff battery projector boop let's put the projector here like that there we go control panel and projector blueprints this there we go let's start building it then and i guess i can salvage this okay we are having a storm again now let's see what kind of st okay just a sandstorm Phew. as long as we don't get an electric storm we should be fine because that would be bad i don't want my stuff get ruined right i still don't have the air vent unlocked so i need to build up an o2h2 generator in order to do that and let's do that then i guess uh give me those stoops give me those stoops yeah this is much cheaper than building a mining ship <laughs> there we go it's still going to take a while to mine everything with the handheld drill but at least i won't need to haul it each time back for multiple minutes so that will speed up the process a lot yeah, and well i have i have time that i can spend just mining it's not a problem hooray the rover is complete it's time to go <laughs> this is much faster than walking and we have arrived already there we go now we can uh, get it close to the hole and then start mining the iron there we go all right let's begin mining and see how much time it takes to fully fill up this truck so five minutes later the truck is full we have like twenty thousand tons not tons 20,000 kilograms of ore that was fast <laughs> yeah like 25,000 pretty much all right yeah I this, this makes this the whole process like so much faster it's incredible and now we just go back and a few more trips and we will have enough resources <laughs> incredible and we have arrived all right let's put a cargo container and the connector on the base so we can offload stuff easier and begin the process of mining some more stuff i'm gonna go get that unknown signal while the stuff is getting assembled and refined yeah this thing can accelerate like 40 meters per second it seems maybe even 50. Uh, it's a lot faster i uh, guess than walking <laughs> okay just another sandstorm so far pretty lucky and here we are rainbow grinder let's go oh nice steel plates just what i needed all right time to dock <laughs> uh, not quite like this let's see if this works uh not high enough oh oops i broke it 
There we go. It is high enough. Ta-da! There we go. Great success. Okay, so show only inventories of the current ship. Right, and let's transfer everything from the current ship to here. There we go. Great. Right, let's continue the mining operations then. And the weather sure is bad. <laughs> Alright, that's another truck full of iron ore. Let's get back to the base. <laughs> the progression sure is fun. First you start by spending hours on getting the first miner. And then after a bit you can print those miners tens per hour. <laughs> fun. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Alright. And that's one trip of silicon tan. I think that should be enough of it. Now we only need some nickel and some cobalt. And then we need to process all of it. And then we can assemble the miner. And then getting resources won't be a problem anymore. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, I think so here's a good method how to make shafts without a jetpack. Basically first you go down and then you make a staircase around the main shaft. And that way it's a little bit easier, I think, to navigate. Alright, we have the shaft and now we make the staircase. I guess just make it as steep as possible. The steeper it is, the faster you will climb it to the top. There we go. Very nice looking. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. And another trick, you can make a hole to dump stone in, inside of the mine. Because you will get a little bit of stone mined, so it's much easier to just dump it away from you, so you don't pick it up again. And so just mine in large patches, and then do a few trips down to pick everything up, and carry it up and drip it again. And that's it. I need to move this. Right here. Yep. Perfect. Phew. Okay, that's nickel done. Great. Now we just need cobalt. <laughs> Look at the freaking... <laughs> Look at the footprints. It's insane. Alright, there we go. It's getting quite late. And the sun will be going down soon. Actually, you can just pretty much just look up while making the staircase still works and I think this way you get the steepest one right right oh wow that is steep <laughs> yeah you wouldn't really be able to navigate that this well <laughs> in real life eh, but this is the game <laughs> all right let's maneuver this into the position not fall into the hole of course <laughs> The acceleration of this sink is pretty high. Ooh. Pick up. Stone. Throw away. Man, cobalt looks nice. It sure does look pretty nice. And go up. Hop. Alright, let's check the weather. Dust. Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's get that. Refine it all. And then get the miner. And then we'll need to design the welder ship, and then we will need to design the large grid starter one. Probably actually we will design it as not a flying ship, but as a rover at the start. So we can move it between the deposits easier to get all of the resources needed for the ship components on it. We'll see how it goes. I did add another row to the staircase so I don't fall off that easily because it's really steep right but this could be pretty much the last time in this place row that I do this next it's all ships hopefully I hope uh, still zero deaths so nice let's see how long we can go with zero deaths all right here's a funny trick if you just hold your mouse button, or F, you will heal. But if you hold boss, you will heal twice as, twice as fast. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. Alright, but that's the cobalt run done. 
Uh, yes, we just kind of have to wait for everything to refine. Let me disassemble all the chunks that I have. Uh, then we refine everything. We should also probably add more wind turbines. Oh yeah, because of the dust, the power is dropping. Huh. Well, this vehicle sure has served me well. We are only 4 hours into this game. Not bad at all. If I was playing on a king server, I would be really close to taking off the planet on my large ship by this point, but, well, we are not, so we will probably be taking off at, like, <laughs> something like 20 hour <laughs> because of the lower speeds of refineries and lesser yield of the assemblers. <laughs> well, I am having fun. This is more fun than playing it easy. Right, I think we could actually make an advanced assembler and refinery right now even because otherwise I would be just waiting a lot of time to make everything refine even if I need to make a few more trips while everything is refining I would need to wait the time anyway and I just don't want to wait <laughs> all right assembler assembler mm, well I didn't really think that through because now I don't have an, a basic assembler to assemble the components for it yeah, let me, let me quickly put this back on. Yeah, I should have thought that through a little bit better. Right, now we can put the assembler. And let's put it actually not there, let's put it here. Because it would be refo removing the basic refinery too. Ah, damn it. I could have just walked around this. <laughs> yeah. Put to production. Let's see, we have enough iron for that. Silicon, cobalt. Right, just need a little bit more silicon and a little bit more cobalt. Cool. Right, where's the silicon? Here it is. Let's put it in the refinery. Alright, good. And then I would also need to extend the power network from just a single wind turbine to maybe multiple of them. Oh, it's getting darker. Well, I don't really care about that because I already know where all of the deposits are. And uh, yes, I'm playing with a uh, space just got trail mod, so the night here is just pitch black. You you can't see anything without lights. Just just nothing. <laughs> you you'll see what I mean. There we go. Right, uh how much would I need resources for a refinery? Advanced Assembler has a list of blocks, so you can easily just look this up like that. Refinery... Oh god. <laughs> the refinery costs more iron ingots than <laughs> my entire miner. No. What about the basic one? No, well, that's much cheaper. <laughs> Holy hell. And still a sandstorm. Oh, I'm getting really lucky. Refinery. Let me quickly check. I don't need that much cobalt, what I need a lot of, I have already iron ingots. I will need to get a little bit more, I think. What else? Nickel and silicon wafers. Are the things that I will need a bit of. The ones that will take the most time to refine. Hmm. Let me check that again. Refinery. But uh, I guess this refinery will be more efficient because, like, for example, iron ingots, this one refines 0 0.49 and this one refines 0 0.7 without any yield modules. So I wonder if it's worth it to proceed with the refinery and then just gather a little bit more. I mean, yeah, iron deposit is that one not that deep, so it will take, like, only 10 more or 15 more minutes to gather the iron. Yeah. Right, well, let's proceed with it then. Because the result would be faster than if I were just to wait. Yeah. Alright. For the cobalt to process, it will take like 25 minutes at this point. I could speed that up by adding another refinery. <laughs> Small one. Do -do -do -do. Let me quickly do something like that. We can take the components of the big one and use it on the small one for now. Alrighty, we have a working large refinery. Hooray! Like that's already most of the stuff that we will need for a big rover that I think I'm planning to do. So what I'm planning to do is actually not just rover, maybe something like 
a large rover that can a large ship that can also have wheels on it something like that and you can just kind of rover around the deposits until you get all the resources that you need uh, but yeah we are getting quite good progress so far already not bad at all oh yeah this thing is pretty fast and pretty efficient nice right well then now i guess it's time to just get all of the parts for the miner and then build it yeah this is quite cool this is going really well Alrighty, I've added some more wind turbines and the best, uh, I guess, to preserve maximum power you want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks between them. So turbine, 8 blocks, turbine, 8 blocks, and that's how you do it. So 8 blocks between, 10 blocks from the ground, and that's it, yep. That's how you do the turbining, I guess. Cool. Oh wow. Okay. Well, everything is fully powered now, at least, I guess. That's nice. And everything is processing. Right, we'll need to make one more trip for iron. And then we can build some miner. Right, I did start a bit slowly, I guess. Waited sometimes more than I should have when I should have just expanded the processing facilities. Eh. Doesn't really matter that much, I guess. It's still only a few hours here and there. Alright, so, yeah. Four wind turbines now, and also building a large car container, because I need more cargo space. Yep. I did another mining run for iron, because I ran out of iron again. Alright, but the large car container is now built. Okay, <laughs> let's get the miner with the current equipment that we have right now, and then we can improve it a little bit more with like speed modules and after we get that yeah speed modules and expand the ray more and after that i guess we could start building well we'll need to make a welder ship and then we'll need to well, design and design a large grid ship so that's fun <laughs> all right let's deposit everything in the car container ah here we go it's getting dark <laughs> nice it's gonna get much darker. <laughs> right, not all of the components are yet assembled, but we might as well weld up some stuff on the ship. Because why not? Right, just need to finish up the thrusters and it should be fully operational. <laughs> I just kinda have to wait for everything to refine. This is going well. The sky is really orange at this point. Nice, very nice. And... There we go. That should be the last of it. Bam. It's complete. Whew. Let's go. Yeah, I still haven't died and uh, I'm not loading any saves either. Not planning on doing that either. Because that would be kind of cheating almost. Yeah, that's... Uh, the darkness that I was talking about. <laughs> Nothing is visible. Absolute darkness. <laughs> right, well, it's time to test it. Let's see how it works. This was taking like five minutes before, and sometimes even more. Now it takes only one or two, <laughs> and it's so much easier to do. Still, this is only the start. In a week or two we will be extracting ten times the amount of ores in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, 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 I could mine the resources to make this miner in like under 10 minutes now. <laughs> now that is what you call progression. <laughs> Let's put a connector on top of the car container so we can land on it. And here we go. Bam. Great success. Perfect. Ouch. I need to make a platform around it. <laughs> Right, I guess now I could design a welder ship and a large grid ship slash rover. This is going very well.